name that tune. <laughs> Hi, this is Cindy. This is Monday, December 3rd, and I'm back for an update. I hope everybody is doing well. The last time I was doing a video, it was before Thanksgiving. If you celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope you had an amazing time. If you did not, I hope you got a lot of stitching done. I have a lot to share in this video. I'm super excited to share what I have. I have some finishes. I had so many comments on my last video of these beauties on my Christmas ornament issue. I am in a different location today. I did this, so many people said, please, please let me see the Christmas tree. So I'm actually sitting in front of the tree. I got my fireplace mantle there. And yeah, what I don't do for you guys, I am sitting on a, a stool, <laughs> a little stool. But um, I figured I'd change it up and it is good to see the ornaments in the background. Um, I'm well over 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for taking the time to visit me in my home where I could share this great hobby that we all share. Um, it's, there are no words for this community. I've met so many amazing people, friends, stitchers. You are my tribe. <laughs> You really are. Uh, I'm going to get on. I'm going to start with questions. I typically don't get questions on my videos. Okay, so I have a list. <laughs> Tanya asks, where do I find my trims for my pieces? Well, if it's chenille or the baby pom-poms, I get those from Lady Dot Creates. She has an Etsy store, but you could also buy those at any cross-stitch store or online shop. I mean, they're pretty much everywhere. Other fibers and trims I could get at Joann's, Michael's, quilt stores, anywhere I could go. I always look to see if there's any trims or anything that I could add. Sharon Peterson asked, uh, what was the name of the pattern for the cute cardinal? Now this, she was talking about this piece. This was a gift. I do not know the pattern name or who designed it. Pam gave this to me as a gift. So if you know who designed this, leave the comment below. Scroll down and just leave a comment if you know that pattern so Sharon could find out who designed that. The next one was from Rhonda Trainer, and she asked, can I show tutorials on how I finish my pieces? Well, Depending on what device you use, there is a down arrow button. If you click that down arrow, it'll open it up and it'll give you a description in that video. There are links to all of my tutorials. I give a tutorial on oval and round ornaments, uh, sticky board pieces, large and small, hoop finishes, because somebody, the one 1952 trouble asked to have two tutorials for hoops. That's included below also. I have a sewing method there. I have a tutorial on the stars, the fabric stars I made. Just click the down arrow button and there's a link to all of those. Debbie Dowd asks, what, do I, what thread do I use for the silver in my pieces? Because I showed a couple of uh, pieces with the silver up close in my last video. I use Petite Treasure Braid Silver. Now you could definitely buy these online at cross stitch stores, but it is petite treasure braid. And I love these threads. Super pretty. Becky Godby. I hope I didn't mess up that name. I might have. If I did, I'm sorry. Do I st stitch my trim on my pieces or glue them? I do not stitch any trim on any of my pieces. It, I use Aileen's Tacky Glue. You could buy that at Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, online. I use this for everything on my ornaments. Love it. It's acid free. It does not affect your pieces. Edie Mesa asks, what brand board do I use? Now the mat board I use, I just purchased mine at Hobby Lobby. You could get it at Michael's, Joann's. Any framing store is going to have mat board. That's what I use. There is whatever they have, they're all acid free. Uh, and Joe Marie 
Vogel, I think it was, is how do I attach the crystals to my pieces? Those are called hot fix, F-I-X-S, F-I-X-X. <laughs> They iron on. You could get those on eBay. Just make sure when you put in the description to locate it. Hot fix crystals. Make sure you could heat them on. Some of them come heated. Some of them don't. These you just iron on. They're super easy. And then Diana, Lazuli asked, well, what type of rotary cutter do I use? And I use my Ulfa rotary cutter. Super sharp. Be careful. You could cut a hand off on with these. These are sharp. But that's the one I use. I love the Ulfa. It does have a lock on it. So you can't use it when you lock it. So that's the rotary I use. Those, <laughs> there was a couple of private emails asking if I would finish ornaments. I work full time. I'm in this season of my life. I don't have time to finish ornaments for other people. There might be at some point in the future where I do. Uh, but as of right now, I, I don't. There's several people who sent a private email saying they have a whole box of them. They're scared to finish them. And I would recommend they're, they're not hard to do. They do not take five minutes to finish. They could take 30 to 60 minutes to finish one piece. But I have tutorials listed below. I know Vana Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher, has great tutorials. Take your time. Just do one step at a time. When I stitch my pieces, I finish my piece either that day or the next day. I do not let them pile up or sit around. Because I put all that stitching work in it. I want to see it finished. That's just me. I need it done. I need to see it. And to let them pile up. Like two or three, I've let it go on where I've done like two or three at a time and I, it's overwhelming. It's just too much. I want to do one piece at a time. It, it makes it easier for me. Some people let them pile them up and do assembly line, which you can do. That's just how I prefer to do it. I do recommend you try doing it to stitch those pieces and put them in a box and not see them. Oh, it's just sad. <laughs> try it. I've been doing these for over 20 years. After you practice and it's like anything else practice makes you're going to get close to perfect nothing is ever perfect it's not supposed to be but just practice and, and it'll become easy to do I do recommend trying it they're not hard simple simple steps those were all my questions now the reason why I had that song at the beginning of my video yes it's not a Christmas song I don't really go to the movies. I haven't gone to the movies in several years. And a couple of weeks ago, Bohemian Rhapsody came out. And it was about the lead singer, Freddie Mercury. And the name of their band was Queen. I don't know if you know Queen. I am 53 years young. <laughs> I will be 54 years young on New Year's Day. And it was about his life. I grew up listening to Queen. That is just the music I, I, some of the music I grew up with and I loved all his songs, but I didn't know his story. And we, me, my sister, my brother-in-law went to see it and we were all crying, crying in the movie. It was, it was well done, I'm sure. Nothing is ever perfect. He's not around to say what his story was, but we cried. I mean, he had, he went through it. <laughs> He's lived it. Um, just going to see it to show how they came about that song, Bohemian Rhapsody. It is amazing. It is awesome. I love his music. He will live on forever. And, um, yeah, I highly recommend the movie if you know Queen and you enjoy their music. He has a great story and, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. So I just shared that. I know, not Christmas music. So anyway, that's why that song was there. I'm going to get on to finishes. Now, the first finish. Okay, so when these patterns came out, there's certain patterns that come out and you're like, I got to have that. I got to stitch it right away. And for me, this, this was definitely one of them. Plum Street Samplers and it's Autumn Salt Boxes. It's called the Salt Shakers. I did this one first and there was star there's two different types of stars in that pattern you really can't see them that well in the picture but 
I one of the stars wasn't to my taste, but I just did a whole bunch of the other stars. And yeah, I love this finish. All right, so this is a clipboard that I purchased, and it was three ninety nine at Marshalls. Let me see. I still have the price tag on there. Let's see if you could see it. Three ninety nine. <laughs> so. This was gonna be originally for something else, but then I changed my mind. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna really like it on this. And this opens up in the back and it stands. It's actually where I usually sit when I film. So it's on my counter. And I just added the cotton. The clip is already on here. I changed a couple of things. Like I changed some of the stars. And the year is 1965. That's me. It was a, it was a great year. <laughs> born New Year's Day, 1965, and I was not the first baby born. Now, I did this on 40-count opalescent, and it's called Winter Wishes. And it's actually an ornament, so I'm going to take it off because I could put this in on my tree, but I wanted it on this and that. I don't know if you could see, it's hard to get, you could see a little bit. There you go, a little bit of the opalescent. It's very hard to pick up on camera. I love this piece. A lot of the colors I used was Victorian Motto. And I did use some of the DMC. I put some trim on there. And on the back, I just used a flannel. I love it. Just complements the colors in the piece. Love it, love it, love it. I can't even describe how much I enjoy this piece. I wanna do the other one, but I wanna do everything and I have other things I need to finish and <laughs> you know how it goes, people. It's just the way we are. We wanna do everything. All right, so the next piece I did, and a lot of people have showed this. Um, this is a year of celebrations, hands-on designs. Kathy Hopperman. Look at him. He's so cute. That's my birthday month. Super excited. But I started, I got this before December. So I, this is a really quick stitch. I did this one, started one day, finished the next. And she, when she originally came out with these designs, um, they were in a cross stitch magazine and they were requesting that they fit into a four by four frame. So I'm like, oh, a four by four frame. I was gonna use the other one because that was only $3.99, I didn't have to make it. But then I'm like, oh, I could just get, this was $3.99, it's a wooden frame. I just pop them in and pop them out. It has the glass in it. There's December, look at the cute little elf feet. Now I didn't do the present in here because I'm gonna be adding something to that and I'm waiting for that to come. That was, that's the first one. Look at how pretty that is. And this just pops in and out. Pop it out every month, put the other one in. So I'll, I will always be a month ahead. So like I'll be doing January this month. So when January comes, it'll be out all month. And I'll do one each month. And they're quick, 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 quick. Kathy, thank you so much for releasing those. Because these are several years back. And this was in a magazine that I couldn't get. Love these. Love them. Super cute. That was my second finish. All right, so <laughs> the next thing. Okay, so everyone knows I'm working on the stocking. If you're new, I'm working on a stocking and it's called Gardner's Delight Heirloom Stocking. Cooler, classic charts. I'm a huge gardener, so I started this and I broke my I broke my art floor stand last week and I'm like, it's screwed together because it's a big long, you know, it's a floor lamp, it's long and you screw the piece in the middle together and somehow it got stripped and I, I carry that lamp back and forth between my bedroom, my living room, I stitch everywhere, I don't have one spot and it broke and I'm like, I need that because I'm working on a big frame and I do have a desktop one but I really need the floor lamp to finish this piece. So I was working on it and then I broke the lamp. I'm like, great. So as you can see, I, I was working on the Christmas tree over here. 
and I did get a little bit done and then I broke it. I'm like, great. So I did purchase a floor lamp that was recommended from Amazon. I got it. The base was all scratched up and there was a nut missing to attach the heavy base to the floor part. Uh, all right, Amazon, I just come pick it up. They picked it up. They actually just picked it up from the house and brought it back. So then I'm like, all right, I know which one I want. It's, it's the one my sister has. I had given her and I want that same one so I went to Joann's because they're having sales through Christmas it was hundred and thirty eight dollars with 40% off so I'm like I had my cell phone with me so I'm looking it up and I'm Amazon it was sixty dollars free shipping okay click hit it was delivered yesterday so I got my floor stand I could start working and finishing up my stocking I gotta get this done <laughs> I know I know I know I'm behind on that but I don't care if it's done this year or not. I don't put time frames on my pieces, but it would be nice to have it done before Christmas, but we shall see. All right, so the next pattern, Promise of Spring. Look how pretty that is. Cottage Garden. And this is the Songbird series. I have all five of them. And this one is the one I wanted to start first. Of course, I'm stitching spring stuff in winter. I'm not a winter person, but I only put a couple of motifs in last night, and I am stitching this on 32 count spellbook by Color and Cotton. I love, 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 love this guy. All right, as you can see, I did the two motifs up in the corner there. I got the little heart done, and I started the other. I started it, and. When you're stitching the pattern, okay, I'm a very visual person. That's how I learn I have to see things. That's why, like, I'll show you the glue bottle and the, and the handle because I, I need to see it. That's how I am, so I just try and make it easy for people. When I was stitching this, all right, so I always look at my picture. And up in this corner, this whole piece, this model is not completed. They only did two things. That It's a full piece here. And I'm stitching, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> like... It was missing on the model. I wonder if they even know that though, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just telling you, if you're looking for it, this, this little, mo little motif up here is not gonna be there. I love, I love all these patterns. I wanna do them all. I will be ordering them all, definitely not all this year. These, I'm doing it on 30 count, so it'll be a 10 by 10 square. I love it, I love it, love it, love it, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so I did that. What else have I been doing? I've been working on my stars and I made, I shipped out a whole bunch and I just made a whole bunch more that I'll be shipping out. The sad part is I didn't even make one for myself yet. <laughs> like, I know, I'm crazy. But I do want to get the gifts out. And to me, that's more important than me. All right, so these, look at these. These are so cute. Look at the fabric they got. Put the little, put the snowman in there. Look at how cute these are. One's upside down. Look at that. Got two of those. I did a baby one. That little, the poinsettias. So cute. Little baby one. The smaller ones are harder to make, and there is a tutorial. Look, click below, and you'll see how you make the uh, fabric ornaments. And then these two, I did these out of flannel. Flannel is much harder to do because it's much thicker, but I love them, the cardinals. Look how cute they are. Cute, 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 stinking cute. And then I got a couple of purple ones from our purple people. Look at the purple, and they beautiful. Love the colors. And then I actually did some paper ones. Look how pretty that is. That's with paper. This is with um, scrap board paper. Cute. Look at that. My purple people. <laughs> For my purple people. And then these 
It's got snowman on it and stuff like that. So I've been working on those. I have to, once I'm done gifting and sending out, I, I'll make a couple for myself. <laughs> I don't have any for myself, which is so funny. Now, Chris, your Thanksgiving came and passed, and my my son's birthday was on November 27th, and he's 27. So happy birthday, Chris. And um, I'll include a couple pictures at the end. I made homemade cranberry sauce and miracle pie. Miracle pie is awesome. It takes about five minutes to make, and it's so, so good. We had a great time. It was me, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my son. My two daughters are in other states, so they, they were there. They're uh, people up there. <laughs> so uh, it was good. We had a great day. We're going into the holiday season. I mean, I keep, keep the season easy. I mean, I sent out all my Christmas cards already. I got those done and out. Um, I sent some gifts already, and I do those in stages. Every There's only me, my sister, and my brother-in-law here. My whole family is in all other states. Everything gets mailed, so I do those in sporadic. <laughs> like I sent some out already, and I try and send them early. I don't like doing last minute because of mail getting lost and things like that. So I try to send those right away. So I've been busy doing those things. Um, my cards, I got some cards already, and I'll include a picture right here of how I'm hanging those. I have twine going across. And I clip them with quilt clips, the little baby quilt clips, and I just clip them on, and it's easy, it's pretty. Like I said, I keep my Christmas easy. I got my tree, my mantle, and that's it. I don't do anything else in the house. I love seeing everybody else's decorations and things, but I don't do that. I don't stress myself out through the holiday season. I just like having one focal point in the area, in the house, and to me, that tree... That just makes me smile. <laughs> and I leave that up. I leave it up a long time. I leave it till the end of January. I work from home. I see it every day. And listen, that makes me smile. So why would I take it down? I'm going to be doing a giveaway uh, for over 3,000 subscribers. Uh, if you want to be in the giveaway, just leave a comment below. Just be a subscriber. Leave a comment. If you don't want to be in the giveaway, don't leave a comment because if the comment is in there, I'm doing the random generator to make it easy through the holidays. I'm just putting it in and letting it pick. <laughs> it's going to be Ginger Scissors, and I got a red and white design, a brand new in the package. Now, Joan from the Joan and Kelly show, you got like a million of these. <laughs> These are good scissors. They're pretty. They're good stitching scissors. I have one pair, but I'm going to give away a pair because I really like them, and I, I think every stitcher should have at least one pair of these. So if you're interested, just leave a comment below. I hope everybody has an awesome December. I will be back in December. Um, the next video will probably focus on what I'm going to Pull aside for 2019 what I want to stitch on. Every pattern I own, I want to stitch on. There's not one pattern I own that I don't want to stitch. And I went through them all and I put aside, okay, so I really, really want to do these. And I have a, a whole bunch of those. So I might dwindle it down a little bit. Maybe not. I got to say this year, coming upon the end of the year, I still have almost another month. I will have stitched over a hundred projects this year, a hundred. I've never stitched that many before. Some were big, some were small. All of my big pieces I don't have, they were gifts. I gave those away. And so when I pull aside, I don't have set plans or I'm just pulling aside what I want to stitch and then I'll do what I want. There will be designers coming out with stuff, of course, that I'm going to want to stitch and I know that. That's just the way it always works. So I know it'll always change. I don't do like stitch mania or anything like that. So I'm just gonna be putting those aside, but I do have some kitted up already, ready to go. I'm excited about some of the pieces that I picked and chose. Um, as you can see on my tree, I have a lot of ornaments on it, but there is like a gap in here, gap in 
there where I'm going to be making tinier Christmas ornaments. Nothing big, although these aren't big. These are normal size ornaments. I'm going to be doing tinier ones just to fill in the little gaps. Not a whole bunch more. I have 75. This is a six and a half foot pencil tree. And I purchased that from Wayfair, free shipping. And I got that a couple of years ago. And I only need one tree. <laughs> And I like the pencil. It's easy for me to pull out, put together, and it's it's not too big for me to handle to put up by myself. So I will be doing more, but not billions more. Although I always stitch and give away. So I'll be doing smaller ones, but I do have bigger projects picked out. I'm so excited. Like I, I want to stitch everything. <laughs> so I'm going to include some pictures. There'll be birds and everything out the end. I do want to thank each and every one of you for coming into my home and joining me and stitching and spending time with me. There's a lot of us out there. I have so many people I watch and I'm going to give a couple of shout outs. Now the Inspired Needle is a store. It's a cross stitch store and their last video, they were showing patterns of things I've never seen before. So go visit the Inspired Needle. And the next one I'm going to share is Sunshine Stitchers. You got Gary, EJ, and Shelia. I absolutely love all three of you. I get excited when their videos come out. It's three of them, and it, it's so fun to watch them. And Shelia just got back from vacation. She's got a nice glow on her. She, she looks well-rested. Shelia, I want, I want to travel like you do. <laughs> She's always traveling. She goes on cruises and everything, so good for her. I love seeing their projects. Go give them a visit if you need someone to watch. I mean, I have all of my regulars. There's only so many people we could watch. Um, but I try and add one or two every now and then when there's a gap in videos. And that's not too often. But I do recommend those if you need someone to watch and you want to get, you know, cheered up and brightened. And uh, Gary's got... He's got a lot. <laughs> Gary, I enjoy your, at the end, he shows all his different pieces and stuff. So it's exciting to see, you know, three stitchers in a video. It's something different. And on that note, everyone, happy stitching.